forest garden is a three-dimensional garden made up of trees, shrubs, perennials, ground cover plants and so on, all interdesigned in a special way. And the plants are all of use, either directly of use to people, so fruits, nuts, perhaps medicinal plants, basketry plants, dye plants, fibre plants, there's lots of plants potentially of use. But also there's a lot of plants of indirect use, so there are bee plants, there are plants that help other plants grow, like nitrogen fixing trees and comfrey, which is a mineral accumulator. All these plants are working together in a system, and the forest garden is designed, modelled on a young natural woodland. There are many reasons to make a forest garden. One of the major ones is that it's a very efficient system of producing food and other materials. The forest garden is based on a young natural woodland and it takes very little energy, time, effort to maintain that system, much less than a similar area of, of annual vegetables, for instance. It may not yield as much, but that isn't the point. The point is that it's more efficient because uh, for the amount you get out, you have to put very little effort in. So that's a very nice uh, system from that regard. There are lots of other benefits too. It is a wonderful place to be in. It's very beautiful. It's aesthetically pleasing. It's good for wildlife. And also, it helps people reconnect with nature on a deeper level too. What I'm doing here is harvesting bamboo shoots, which are a lovely spring vegetable. To harvest bamboo shoots, the important thing is to harvest them at the right stage. They need to be about 30 centimetres high. Bigger than that, like this, and they'll be too tough to eat. Smaller than that and you don't get very much material to eat anyway. So 30 centimetres is a good height. Uh, bear in mind bamboos can grow that in two days, so you need to look every day or two if you're harvesting bamboo shoots. To harvest them, you find a shoot of the right size and then basically just cut it off at soil level. Like so. The edible part you find by cutting the bamboo shoot in half, lengthways, all the way up with a sharp knife, and then you open it up and you'll see inside all the light coloured material, light green or white material, is the edible part. The outer green leaves you discard, they're tough. Uh, the inner part is the part you eat. And normally you uh, would steam bamboo shoots for 10 minutes or so when they have a, a flavour quite similar to courgette. So not a strong flavour, but very, very nice and nice added to other things too. This is a snowbell tree, a North American large shrub or small tree. I'm showing you this now in spring because it's actually beautiful and ornamental with these white flowers in spring. Now the main crop though is not the flowers, although you can use those in salads, but the fruits that follow the flowers. And they are green, four-winged fruits, ready to eat around July time, with a delicious pea-like flavour. You can use them in salads, raw, or cooked in stir-fries or whatever. It's a beautiful crop and easy to grow too. These are really delicious. This is Siberian Puzzlane, a shade-loving perennial plant uh, which is fantastic in salads. The whole thing, this long stalk, the leaves, the flowers, all have a beetrooty flavour. Very, very nice in salads. And it loves it in the shade. It spreads in shade. This, is, this patch here is beneath ash trees, so it can get very dark in summer. But it absolutely loves it here.